final segment with Jim Mars here in studio, and the transmission is over until this Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and the syndicated transmission we do five days a week, four hours a day isn't enough. What's what's five times four? That's 20 hours, and then I do two more. I, I, I do uh, quite a few hours a week. I guess that's um, 22 hours a week of live radio. I don't see how you do it. Oh, I love it, and we got a great crew in here that makes it all possible. You got a new book out. We're not uh, carrying it uh, yet, but uh, you know, we do have your Rise of the Fourth Reich. I think it's your best book, and uh, the other one you, uh, that we have at Infowars.com. But Jim Mars, Above Top Secret Undercover Mysteries of the Digital Age. They sent us a copy of this, your publisher, and it was a great read because I could just read a chapter every night before I went to bed. It covers a lot of subjects. Now, in the time we have left, when you came in uh, uh, you know, with rave reviews about it, why did you like the Obama deception? Oh, well, uh, I would recommend everyone get a copy of the Obama deception because uh, you're either uh, uh, already kind of anti-Obama, in which case you need to do your homework and, and uh, get your ammunition for your arguments, or you're pro-Obama, and you would really definitely need to see the Obama deception because you've been deluded. And you've been fooled. And, and folks, let me tell you something. This is the same thing's gone on over the past eight years. You had conservative Republicans who voted and were staunchly behind everything George W. Bush did because they thought he was a good constitutional conservative. They didn't realize that the term neocon actually uh, meant national socialist. Okay? <clears throat> now the same thing's happening in reverse because now we got all these people who think that Obama is going to bring us some sort of change, and we're going to get away from this national and socialism. He's just continuing the exact agenda with different window dressing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so now we've swapped national socialism for Marxist socialism. In fact, I'm sure you saw Newsweek that carried a big cover here a week or so ago, said, now we're all socialists. Well, when did we get to vote for being socialists is what I want to know. So people need to understand. They need to see the Obama deception. Plus, it's not even real <laughs> socialism. It's all going to the bankers. Right. Right. Fascism. Well, this is what happened in communist uh, Russia and the Soviet Union. They said everything was in the name of the people. And yet the people never benefited. It all went to the Politburo and the Central Committee. And it's the same thing over here. I mean, come on. People need to just wise up, you know. And then you say, well, how do you do that? Well, number one, turn off your TV. And, and Spread the word about uh, and people And talk to like people. You. Tell folks your website. JimMars.com, J-I-M-M-A-R-R-S.com. I try to put up articles that you probably never see on the uh, corporate mainstream mass media. Um, and, of course, th between that and going to uh, InfoWars, uh, that ought to give them a pretty good idea of uh, what's going on. I want to thank you for reminding me of that Texas state police that was a public report, just yeah. as bad as the Missouri Mayak report. It's good to see people angry about this, though, and saying, hey, we're not going to put up with your demonization. People that are doing this, they're the tyrants, they're the traitors, they're the people selling out what our country's based on. That's right. I would like to grab every law enforcement officer in Texas and say, listen, buddy, I'm on your side. I am not a terrorist, okay? But likewise, I don't want you operating as some kind of thug for the international bankers who want to come and tell me I can't grow a garden and I can't own a gun and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, because, hey, folks, we're all in this together. Tyranny always comes to your door in a uniform. If the police and military go along with this, they're going to help destroy this nation. What time are you speaking tomorrow at Brave New Books in Austin? 7 o'clock tomorrow at Brave New Books uh, right across from the university. And your talks on your new book, Above Top Secret? No, this is this is, this is is the topic you don't want to talk about, so we won't mention it. The Little Green Men? <laughs> well, I've been down here several times, and i talked about the rise of the Fourth Reich. I've talked about the... No, but I, I, but I mean, you about cover all the areas this. that can be proven, though. It's very interesting. Exactly. But everybody said, because every now and then something would come up about UFOs, and they everybody demanded I come back down here and explain to them. All right. We're out of truth. time. Jim Marsh, thank you. Bye. You bet. I'll stay there for a second. Uh, folks, retransmission starts in 70 seconds. One place. Infowars.com on the web of the streams and AM and FM dial. See you Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. God bless you all. Great job, crew. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold for your IRA? The financial industry refuses to recognize the value of real hard assets for your retirement. The truth be told, gold and silver has outperformed paper investments like stocks, bonds, and CDs, yet no word about IRAs. Perhaps the financial institutions want to maintain control of your assets by keeping you in paper. 
If you'd like to take a look at gold free retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low return on your paper investments. Call 800-686-2237. Make sure that you secure your future. Call 800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. 